All right, hello, wine drinking people. We're back for more of what I drank yesterday. And Silver Oak Winery, one of the most successful labels in Napa Valley. Well, Napa and Sonoma, they make two labels in Alexander Valley, which they make 100,000 cases, 75,000 cases. I don't know. For some reason, the production is always a mystery when you ask the folks at Silver Oak how much they make. But let's just say they make over 50,000 cases. At over $50 a bottle, Silver Oak Alexander is the highest production wine at that price, possibly in the world. Um, and not many chateaus in Bordeaux make over 50,000 cases of wine. I don't know if over $50 a bottle. So uh, a very successful brand. Brand. I think they own their own forest in Missouri. And, uh, well, they've got some other varietals that they brought online with this Toomey label. And, uh, you know, the Napa Valley Cabernet, maybe 25,000 cases, 35,000. So at 100,000 cases, possibly for both of those labels, a staggering amount of wine and a very high price tag. All right, well, the Toomey Sauvignon Blanc from Napa. This is made in a Sancerre-inspired style, third stainless, a third stainless drum, and a third French oak. A bit of a musty, kind of earthy nuance to the melon and fig-like fruit on the nose. A fresh and fruity style of Sauvignon Blanc, maybe cross between New Zealand and Sancerre for my taste. A nice zesty finish, leaving the tongue salivating for food on the finish. 100% estate-grown. I know they buy fruit for Silver Oak, but this Toomey label, I guess, is all estate grown. And this is from Calistoga. Very good stuff at $26. Not cheap. Okay, Toomey Pinot Noir from Bien Nacido Vineyard. That's down in Santa Barbara. This is lot 1, 7, and 9. Not that that makes any difference to you. But uh, the first vintage of uh, Bien Nacido Pinot Noir for them was uh, 2006. I'm sorry, this is the first vintage. They did a Russian River before this. The first vintage of that was 2006. And uh, Ben Kane is the winemaker for this winery. The old Rochambeau facility is where they make that. And they got four different AVA Pinots and a Sauvignon Blanc that's made there. Very pretty bouquet of raspberry and wild strawberry fruit. A good hand of all spice and some fresh earth and light smoke showing on the nose. Really fresh and light in style, but not in flavor. You know, a good amount of uh, red berry fruit and savory <clears throat> savoriness on the finish here. And a little bit of earth there as well. An excellent bottle of Pinot, but... Uh, Wines are ambitious when it comes to price at $53.50. All right, the Merlot, two years in barrel, two years in a bottle, goes back to their original mission statement of releasing wine when it is ready. 100% uh, estate from the Duncan. Uh, the Duncan family owns a vineyard on Soda Canyon Road, which is where this comes from, right next to the Silverado Country Club. Lovely black cherry and black plum fruit, some fine herbs, and fresh uh, <clears throat> notes of milk chocolate showing on the nose there. Smooth and easy drinking style Merlot on the palate. Uh, notes of toasty oak spice and uh, good balance and freshness on the finish, though. Uh, excellent bottle of Merlot at $53.50. Silver Oak Alexander Valley 2007, a great vintage for uh, Northern California as a whole. And uh, this one's 100% Cabernet with that signature dill kind of vanilla nuance that you get from the American oak in this wine, which has always been aged exclusively in American oak. Good amount of cherry and currant berry fruits. An easy drinking style of Cabernet that Alexander Valley, always a lot more forward and drinkable. A um, little milk chocolate nuance on the finish. 50% of the fruit comes from their estate. A very good bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon. 75 bucks. Ooh. Okay, the Napa Cabernet. Lovely cigar box spice there. A good amount of sweet black cherry and currant berry fruit with dark chocolate notes. Uh, nice big and ripe style with a good hand of that cigar box spice. Uh, you know, short and pleasant finish. But, uh, you know, very good bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon as well. But $100? This wine has got the magic name, the magic uh, packaging, and uh, they're getting the magic price for this as well. All right, well, good stuff from Silver Oak Winery. Next up, another visit from our friends with from Turlato.